This will be different. <laughs> Let's see if anyone even tunes in. Yeah, this will be uh, interesting, I think. If anyone tunes in. It's really a very simple thing I'm gonna do here. But uh, I guess uh, what I could do, uh, what I'm gonna do here, Okay. Well, you can see that the, the title of the video says connecting the all that is, right? Um, this is going to be really quick because it's all fresh in my head and I just had like a crazy visual. And so I sketched it out really quick and now I'm going to sketch it out again. You know, I sketched it out small and now I'm going to sketch it out big. And what I did was, is of course I started with a circle, right? And I was thinking chakras the whole time, and I'm thinking, okay, this is a chakra, right? But it turned into uh, something more. And I gave it, I gave it a north and a south, and an east and a west. It's, you know, north, south, east, west. And the poles pull in uh, like this on the planet. And no one thinks about what happens at the equator, but they go the other way. If you look into uh, the Coral Castle and, and Lead Scallion's work, there's there's positive north and positive and negative north and positive like that's what I want to do here. Positive north and negative north, and then down here we have positive south and negative south. And so out here, see how I'm going to flip flop these. This one's positive. This one's negative. Right? Negative. Positive and flip flop those, right? But then you have this duality happening here at a single pole. So I went like this, I connected these because these give you another point in a way, they give you another direction. And, and I'm really not sure what to say about it, but it just started working out this way, right? And so the, when I did that, I'm like, okay, now um, we know that these, the energy goes, goes around like, like this, you know, in and out and in and out like, in and out like this, each, each way, like, like a vortex, like a torus. And um, it made me think about, okay, so what happens here? What happens in the middle here? That's what it made me wonder about. And this must be where the connection to the all that is takes place. That that's the kind of the the idea that I'm that I'm having here. So this if this is the connection to the to the ether of everything we don't see, all the energy and empty space that isn't empty. The, the, this is where it's all connected, right? Because you could really look at this as a as an atom, a molecule. And so what I did was I went A E for ether, right? A E, and I labeled them really quick. And then again, you have a negative and a positive, right? And a negative and a positive and a negative. Positive. Gotta go around the stand for the camera. <laughs> Where am I at? Yeah. Uh, negative and positive. All right. So we're still working with duality here, but I boxed us in like this on my on my first sketch, and it gives a good example of the boundary between everything we can see and everything we can't see so everything we can see lives in, inside this this diamond shape but I was also thinking um, you know it's it's a chakra each time like the heart chakra and this could be how the energy you know this connects you to like a, like again ether or spirit you could say like that you know 
like ether could stand for spirit or, or God or you know pick it pick a, a a metaphoric term like his you you know what else can you can you say about it yeah you know you could just say the same thing over here God you know or uh, source right to throw a couple more words on the chart really quick that this is this is all I had before it was just a diagram like my little diagram here see so I just copied that and now I'm extending on it from from there but to me this is how everything works from micro to macro the the sun's energy the the energy coming off the moon all the planets every molecule like i said micro to macro oh what happened there oh something happened on my screen i guess it's still alive i wonder if they're going to upload it in two parts or something I don't, you know, I don't really know where I'm going with any of this from here on out, you know, connecting to all that is, because again, like I'm saying, that this is a fractal representation of of the energy that's at the center of everything. Like it, everything has a its point of origin in the middle, so everything radiates energy in this way. And when you look into to the Coral Castle and Edward Lee Scowman, he talks about positive north and negative north and pot and you know negative south and positive south how it's not not only one energy coming out of the coming out or going in there's there's two energies you know what i'm saying and so when you take that into that whole idea into account and you, then you got to ask yourself how the guy built the coral castle by himself he must know something about the way energy flows through matter and that's really what this diagram is just trying to uh, to show is a simple way that energy flows through matter so out here is the afterworld <laughs> you know outside the diamond is the afterlife that goes on till it's a bound infinity again and you can see the the torus shape taking place it goes in and comes out down here and you, could, you have to reverse the whole the whole issue because it's a it's a three-dimensional thing you know it's not a flat it's not flat this represents X Y and Z so with that I'll take off keep it short thanks for checking in hope you enjoyed and uh, until next time, peace, love, and gratitude. Namaste to all of you.